Hi, today I will do a quick demonstration on how to program the Alexin 4010i. I just applied power to the demo unit and will give it a few seconds to boot up. Once the boot sequence has completed, you will enter the main menu. In the main menu, you will have control setup, temperature, electrical, alarms, maintenance, profiles, network, user interface, and info. We will begin by selecting user interface. In the user interface, you can choose your language of choice as well as your temperature units of choice. For this demonstration, I will keep it at English and in degrees Celsius. Going back to the main menu, I will choose control setup. In control setup, you'll have your set point, which is also your maintain temperature, the fail safe mode, which can be fail on or fail off, as well as your high temperature, low temperature, and failure alarms. These can be enabled or disabled and latching and non-latching. Also, you can select to have your RTDs control on the lowest temperature or the average of your RTDs should you have multiple RTDs. Next, I will choose mode. In the mode, you have the control mode, which is by default on off. However, depending on your application, you could choose task, which is proportional ambient sensing control, proportional, always on or always off. For this demonstration, I will keep it at on off. Also, you have your output type. Depending on the model you have, you may have SSRs, also known as solid state relays. So here you can choose to either have it as contactor or as SSRs. For this demonstration, I will keep it as contactor because my demo unit has an electrical mechanical relay. Going back to the main menu, I will now choose temperature. In the temperature, you'll have temperature sensor one, temperature sensor two, and temperature sensor three. In this case, I only have one RTD connected. Therefore, I will only stay on temperature sensor one. At the moment, it's displaying 30 degrees Celsius. Each temperature sensor can be set to control or monitor only. Also, each RTD can have a high temperature alarm, low temperature alarm, and failure alarm. These can be enabled or disabled and latching and non-latching. Going back to the main menu, we'll choose electrical. In the electrical, you have your trace current. At the moment, I'm showing zero amps because the output is not energized. And for the trace current, you can have a high current alarm and a low current alarm. These again can be enabled or disabled and latch and non-latching. Next, we have our ground fault. By default, we have a 20 milliamp high alarm and a 30 milliamp trip. Depending on your application, these values can be changed as well as enabled, disabled, and latching and non-latching. Back at the main menu, we have the alarms, which I will select. Now, if your controller is an alarm, you'll have the list of alarms and in there you can choose them and also reset them should they need to be reset. Next, to go to the main screen, if you choose on the little house here at the top left, you will have the main screen. On the main screen, you'll see a green check mark, which means that there are no alarms. It will also display your temperature, which is 29 degrees Celsius, and also the set point at 25 degrees Celsius. Should you have multiple RTDs, it will also display your temperature sensor one, two, and three. Now, I will simulate a lower temperature, which will trigger the output to turn on. Once the temperature reaches uh, below the set point, the output will be triggered. Once the output is on, you will have your current, which will be displayed, which is at 4.1 amps at the moment. It will show the wattage and it will still show you your voltage. It will give you a trace status, which is on, and show that everything is normal. This has been a quick setup guide. 
and I hope it has helped. Thank you. Thank you.